morning friends and welcome to Apron Strings. We've got a bunch of new subscribers and I'm thankful for every one of you. Thank you for choosing to subscribe and watch me cook and listen to me talk. Today I'm going to be doing something that I'm a novice at but I'm learning and I'm going to grill some uh, pork spare ribs on my pellet grill and I was just going to let y'all come along while I get them ready to put on the grill and and uh, I'll show you a little bit while they're grilling and then we'll look at them and eat some when they get done. Now I've told y'all before that I like to watch Matt over at um, Meat Church and I've watched him do ribs several different kinds you know the baby back or St. Louis and his methods and he uses different methods so probably in pulling it out of my head today, it's going to be a combination of techniques that he uses. And I will be using some of his seasoning. But I'm just going to put them on the grill. And we're going to use... Uh, have y'all ever seen those uh, smoke tubes? If you haven't, you'll see it out there. It's already loaded in on the grill or I'd show it to you. It's just a stainless steel tube closed on one end, perforated all the way, open on the other. And you either fill it with wood chips or pellets and light it and then when it starts smoldering and smoking you blow it out you can put it in a gas grill and you can make stuff taste like it was smoked on a pit and the pellet grill doesn't give you a big smoky flavor so today i'm going to use two smoke tubes and uh, make my ribs have more smoke flavor but i, I had told my friend about this smoke tube and how it smoked. I smoked a chunk roast and it tastes like brisket. And so she did it on her gas grill and uh, put her, her smoke tube in there. She ordered one and she said, okay, it's as good as any brisket I ever had and it's smoke flavored. I'm glad to know I could do that on the gas grill. She only had one burner on. She put it on the off side, did it low and slow, and it works. So I am going to be using my smoke tubes. I think that's what you call them. Uh, to make my ribs have more smoke flavor in them because that's what I like So I'm gonna Get them opened up here, but I'm gonna go over to the sink. These are Kroger had them on sale $1.77 a pound and uh, I'm just gonna turn the camera off because I'm gonna get over to the sink and Open the packages up and drain all the water out and pat them dry and get them over here and get that membrane off of the back I'll be back in a jiffy I think what we're going to do, we're going to cut them, um, these in half because it'll help them to fit on the grill better. So I'll just find me a spot here. And I'll be seasoning these up here in just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of them clean, just like I did this one, and uh, then I'll bring y'all back when I'm putting the seasoning on them, and got to let them set a little bit, and then we'll put them on the grill. Okay, I've got them cleaned up, and I've cut each rack kind of in half. And what I'm going to do, I did this the other day, I put a little Worcestershire sauce to, to hold my flavoring on, but just like everybody said, you can't taste it. So I'll put that on each side. Some people use mustard. I'm going to use Meat Church uh, fajita seasoning on my ribs. And we're going to use hickory pellets and hickory chips in the smoke tube. And I'm going to come back with a little bit of his voodoo. I'm going to do both sides. Pat that in. Season the other side. And I'm going to let them set for a little bit. I'm not left-handed, but I guess we can do this left-handed. Some voodoo. And some fajita. And I...
put it in the reverse order on this side, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to let those set. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them just like I did these. And uh, I'll be back when we're putting them on the grill. Here is the box that the smoker tube came in, and this is what it looks like. One end is closed, one end is open, and you fill it with your pellets and light it. And when, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. And when we go out, uh, this brand is 10. The first one I bought was from Z Grills, which is what my grill is, and it was, I think they're 16 on Amazon, it was 24 at Home Depot. That's before I found, found out I could get some cheaper. But I wanted to show y'all the box because I can't show you the tube because it's hot. So the first time we used it, Troy filled it with uh, the pellets and it smoked really, really well on that chuck roast. But this time we filled it with hickory chips to see if we can get more smoke. So uh, we'll have the verdict here this afternoon when we eat some ribs. Okay, I'm going to cook them at 225 for about three hours and then I'll probably wrap them in foil but you can't see the temperature it's up to 250 but we're letting it get higher because I got to open the lid to show you see I've got them all in there on two shelves and we got the smoke tubes y'all can see the smoke that's going from those smoke tubes that's right there in the front okay we'll be back very quick y'all gonna think I'm crazy but it's so hard for me when I've got my taster all set for ribs or brisket and I have to wait hours and hours for it to get done. If I could just live in this video where it just goes bump, 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 bump and it's ready, that'd be pretty cool, but I gotta wait. So after a while I'll be back and we'll wrap them and let them get tender. And I'm gonna make some beans, I think, and potato salad to go with them. So, I might show y'all that, I don't know. But that's going to be our menu for supper tonight. Okay, y'all have fun waiting for the next three minutes till the next part comes on, and I'll be waiting three hours. The ribs have been on about 10, 11, 12, three and a half hours. So, I'm going to spritz them with some water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. They're looking dry. Getting a good bark on them. But my smoke tubes have gone out, and my man that fixed them for me is out doing stuff in Jordan. So I can tell you those pellets lasted a lot longer than these other things did. But I'm just going to let them keep going. We'll see. I'll probably come back and spray them again um, in another 30, 40 minutes because I want to be sure that they don't dry out on me. And I may wrap them. It's just going to be harder to wrap all those halves than it would have been four holes. So I'll decide. And if I wrap them, I'll let y'all know. Okay. I'm going to wrap them. them up good and tight and I'm going to wrap each piece like this and then I'm going to put them back out there on the grill. Bring y'all back in a minute when I get them all done. How's that? Okay, the beans have cooked about three hours just simmering and I want to show you if y'all can see. Here's how soft I like them. You see how they just mash up against the side of the pot? And if you like your juice a little bit thicker, then you just do a few spoons like that, mash them, and it'll kind of thicken your juice a little bit. So these are ready, and I'll be tasting some here in a little bit, but they're hot as all get out right now, so I'm going to put the lid back on them, and I'll, I'll do that in a bit. 
Okay, I've got them all wrapped and in there, and we'll uh, let them cook for about a couple hours wrapped. And we'll take it out and check it. I'm gonna get one of them out and open it up and see how tender it is. Let's see, I'm gonna get one of these up here. I cooked them the first, uh, before I wrapped them, they had been on since 10 and it was about 2.30. I wrapped them, it's about four o'clock now. So we're gonna see if they're tender. And also I thought that my tubes, and they did burn out, but Troy had already reloaded them one time. So they got, they should have a lot of smoke on them. I don't know how much y'all can see, but I'm over here at this little side thing in a watchy. And we'll see. Yeah, the bones are pulling out at the top. And I didn't bring anything with me to, yeah, they're very tender. I would say they're done. So I'll be taking them in and letting them rest. And then we will be having us some beans and ribs. I was going to do potato salad, but April and them aren't coming, and we wouldn't eat enough potato salad. I can't make a little bit of potato salad. I'd have potato salad left over. So we're just going to, Jordan said he just wanted ribs and maybe some beans, and um, I might make a salad out of them. But anyway, that's how I cooked my ribs. Let's get them in the house. I opened one of the foil packets up, and I'm going to show you. They're just coming all to pieces. They're really still too hot to slice, but they're delicious. And I know some of y'all know this, but some of you may not. These are just cotton gloves that you can get at, Hobby, at Harbor Freight, Northern Tools. And if you'll put one of these on, because they're thick, and then put one of these natural or whatever you, however you pronounce it, gloves, and they're right there with these gloves at those places. You can pick those ribs up and use this like pot holders. It doesn't burn your hands. Whether you're picking them up to come in and wrap them or what, this is a lifesaver. And then you can just throw this away and this stays clean. Just in case you didn't know that. I watched the guy that I like to watch and he was, his hand, you know, people asked the question, so he elaborated on it a little bit and told us what he was using and where it came from. Uh, this is very good, and I, of course, I like the burnt part. Mm -mm -mm. I wanted to show you the smoke. Ring, if I can pick one up. Can you see the smoke ring? That how far the pink is there with the smoke? I've got my cud over here in my jaw. You can really taste the smoke. Those smoke tubes are awesome. If you don't have one, you need to get you one or two. I told y'all my friend Cindy used her gas grill with one of the smoke tubes. And uh, she has two burners on hers. And she had one on me, on uh, the burner was on low and the other burner was off. And she put her chuck roast to cook like a brisket where the fire was off and she had her smoke tube in there. And she said it cooked perfectly. It was tender, just delicious, and smoked from the smoke flavor on a, gra on a gas grill. So you, you need to get you one. Ten bucks is worth every penny of it. And I'm going to let these ribs cool a little bit, and I know those boys will be in here in a minute and want to eat. And I'll make a plate and show y'all what we're going to do. It's going to be beans and ribs, maybe some fresh tomato slice. I have cantaloupe and watermelon in Ziploc bags in the icebox. They can have that for dessert. I do still have some of Grandma's best cake, just a little bit. They can have some of that if they want it. It's about gone. It's time to make another dessert. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit show y'all what our plates look like. Okay, y'all, here's my plate. Tomatoes from my garden, a Claus and dill pickle, beans that y'all already have the video on, and here's the ribs, and they are just delicious. Fall apart. And I'm gonna tell y'all about this barbecue sauce. It's called Mitch, M-I-T-C-H, meat, and it's the WOMP, W-O-M-P, and you can get it at Academy. Now, I don't know where else, but it's very good barbecue sauce. 
Well, y'all, we're all full of ribs and beans, and oh my goodness, we enjoyed it. It was yummy. So now, I'm going to go outside. It's cooled off. It's about 6 o'clock. I'm going to let the chickens out for a little while and uh, gather my eggs. I'm getting seven eggs a day, sometimes eight out of nine hens. That's not a bad, bad average. And I'm going to... Um, decide on what I'm going to fix for dinner tomorrow after church. I know we'll warm up ribs. I'll wrap them in foil and put them in the oven and heat them and they'll taste like they just came off the grill. And we'll probably, we may have the exact same thing, but I may add something to it. I don't know. I got some of that Spanish rice left. That would be good with it. Anyhow, y'all get you some stuff in your freezer and in some jars on the pantry and some bulk can stuff and whatever your family likes and get you some stuff ahead. And uh, stay in where it's cool. And you might have to get a second job to pay that light bill. I don't know. Our projected light bill has doubled. And I don't know what people are going to do. Groceries are going up. Utilities are going up. Insurance is going up. But wages aren't going up. And especially uh, retirement pay don't go up. I don't know what we're going to do. Trust the good Lord and do our part and he'll do his. He'll stretch it. We give him his 10%, he can stretch that 90% a lot further than we could 100% if we didn't pay him what's duly his. The good Lord bless and keep y'all, and I'll be back pretty soon with something else good. So please share my channel on your Facebook pages, share my videos. Down underneath, there'll be a little thing that says share. And if you click on it, you can put it on your Facebook page, and it'll help me to meet an audience that I wouldn't otherwise get to meet. And I would love for my channel to grow and uh, let me meet other people and enjoy them. And as the channel grows, I'll make a little bit more money. I'm making a little bit now, but not even enough to buy the groceries that I'm cooking. But it would be nice. But besides the money situation, I just like meeting people and making new friends and, and commenting back and forth and emailing back and forth with you. I'm a people person, and I like people. So if y'all will share my channel, I'll appreciate that. And I'll see you again real soon with something else very good. The good Lord bless and keep you.